Okay, we are back with the Remington 597 in 17 HMR as I attempt to repair it. So, the next thing we're going to do, if I can see what I'm doing, um, so we're going to push out this pin. This pin is a slip fit, so it is not crazy hard to get out. If it is, you have a problem. And there goes your trigger group. Trigger group comes out. Be careful with these as your bolt hold open rides on this little rivet here. Oh, that broke. Son of a... I'm going to have to... I'll just super glue that probably. That broke when the uh, gun blew up probably. But careful with this because this rivet can pop out. There's a little teeny tiny spring in there that you can't really see in this picture. Uh, but it loops over the top here. There's the edge of the spring. If this part comes off, that spring can go flying. You'll never find it again. And these are not tight. They, they, they're very loose, especially on these first early years of the rifle. So I'm a little bummed about that. I shouldn't be able to do that. That should be one solid piece. I'll glue that, clamp it. It'll be okay. Now, for the more fun part. Now you can see the, uh, the hole bolt here. Okay. What we're going to do, what I'm going to do next, is remove these screws. Carefully. Now I can pull out the guide rods. You want to hold your fingers over the springs. Okay, you want to hold the springs. I'm going to do this one hand and see if I can launch the springs out all over my garage. Better yet, here we'll turn it upside down so the springs can't get out. At least for disassembly purposes, reassembly. They make some tools for these. Makes it a little easier. Now the Magnum and 17 HMR versions have these double wound springs. They're a spring inside of a spring. Um, so be careful not to lose those. And I got enough out of there I can grip it. That one's really tight. Should not be. I might have to test these, make sure they're not bent. Okay, now that other spring can come out and your bolt can fall out. Yay, the bolt's loose. Okay, so. Oh, that is heavier than the factory 22 long rifle one. That's a lot heavier. Much nicer machine finish on there too. I kind of like it. It's got, a, got some sharp edges and stuff, but it's much nicer made than the 22 long rifle version. You know, you can clearly see the extractor is bye bye. So I'm gonna go find the one I have in my spare parts real quick.